Right back in February, Interface Sanctuary opened their Homeless Art Collective, and the idea was for artists experiencing homelessness to be able to express themselves in a creative way while making money for their work. They would create art, whether it's a painting, a drawing, crochet, and then they would sell it through the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. Well, a few weeks ago, the shelter got a huge donation of denim, which gave them another idea. A special collection where artists can still art, but the money made goes to a cause much bigger than themselves. We got a donation of 501 jeans. I think there was like 40 to 50. Yeah. So we were like, we got to do something with these jeans. And we came up with the idea that each artist would take a couple pairs of jeans and paint on them and do whatever they want to do with them. These are uh, some graffiti that I did. And um, it just says Boise and some random stuff right here on the side. And then hopefully we can auction them off and raise money for the shelter. You know, when someone donates a bunch of 501s to a nonprofit. Oh, really? <laughs> the project kind of yeah. names itself. It's the 501c3 project, and, you know, it gives everybody an opportunity to do something. Do something. It's cool, dude. For the place doing something for them. Exactly. Give back. And that's really important to all of them here. So giving back to the people that help them. And um, so this was easy. It's important to people like Jose. Yeah, I'm a resident. I stay on the programming side. But maybe not so easy. And I'll eventually paint over it. This is just kind of like a rough draft. Jose is a member of the Homeless Art Collective. This is going to be roses and then the sky, maybe some birds up here, and then it's called my last name. And then this is just like a logo on here. Maybe this is going to turn into peacock feathers down here. Who's never drawn on jeans. This is like a trial or error kind of a thing. It's the first time for me, so... I'm learning. You got to start somewhere, you know? I started out drawing, and I still went back to do more definition because the brush I have is not that great. You know, like with these guys. Here's some flowers. Got a little Rubik's Cube, checker, action, 80s, 90s, back to the future ish. Pretty cool. Shorts, cut off shorts. Some random love designs. I believe we call those jarts. I didn't, I'm not an artist. I just kind of watch, but. To me, just, I didn't understand what art did for people. Oh, like the Chris Alvarez does. Yeah, that's cool. A former guest of Interfaith Sanctuary, he's now a full-time yeah. tattoo artist. Yeah. And the director of the Art Collective. It sounds kind of kind of corny when I say it, but art as like a vehicle for change. Right on, little heart. Hello, sunshine. This one even has um, stuff sewn in it, like that. Flares. Yep, flares on the side. Got a little bit of design, got a UFO. Coming in and being a part of the Art Collective, I realized how important art and creativity is to people's well-being. <laughs> it gives them a sense of purpose, hope, meaning, connection. Like we all sit around, hang out, we do art. Okay, some more graffiti stuff, just random writing. This one says peace. Cool, more graffiti. It's got mandalas on it, which is really cool. You know, it's about connecting to everybody else. Like it's like, you know, it's a greater community. It's, it's, it's forming um, something great. It's just more awareness of, uh, of positivity, and I think it makes waves. Good waves that always seem to come back as well. And in case you're wondering how you can get your hands on a pair of these fly button fly jeans, Interface Sanctuary hasn't decided on a date yet for their auction or maybe how they're going to go about selling. It may not be an auction either, but they still want to raise money for the shelter. But we're going to let you know when they let us know. Remember, they need to come up with millions of dollars to cover the cost of renovating their new home on West State Street. But some of them are not for sale. Unless, of course, the price is right on these. Chris made these fine jeans for here, for us here on the 208. Look at this. Oh, wait, I got it. Here it is. There it is. That's it right there. Wow. Aren't these nice? This is embarrassing. I will tell you that right now. It's awesome. Chris did an awesome job but completely embarrassing for me to get these pants. But here's the deal. If you've ever wanted to get into my pants, let the bidding begin. 208-321-5614. We'll start right now.